Hi guys and welcome to yet another video log. It's now the 16th of May, uh, which means it's approximately four weeks before uh, the liberation of the first national race from St. Vincent, 1000 kilometers from home at Formi. Um, and also uh, the most important race of the year. It's at least I consider it the most important race of the year. It's the biggest classic that we have, a uh, national classic. Of course, we have the international races, uh, but uh, St. Vincent has a special place in my heart. Uh, and I think it's the same for all marathon adventures in the Netherlands. Uh, currently, my youngsters are training. Um, they've been out the loft now for about 60, 70 minutes, you know, almost 70 minutes now. Uh, so it's time to get them in. Uh, I let them train uh, 75 minutes. Uh, as you can see at the back, also the youngsters train with a flag. It's um, started using the flag uh, this week, uh, the first couple of weeks, of course. Uh, I let just let them be, uh, no pressure at all, just freewheeling outside, flying, uh, hopping from rooftop to rooftop. But now uh, the group is complete. Uh, they've started training in formation uh, and training uh, further and longer. So now uh, I use the flag, especially not to uh, get them in the air, but just as a sign uh, that the lofts are closed. The same reason for the old birds. So um, I really hate uh, calling birds. So that's why I, I use only optical signals. So a flag and uh, of course, the entrance of the loft is orange when the, the plank is turned down, so that's all. At this moment they're in transition of the optical signs and, uh, and calling them, uh, which means I'm uh, going to put down the flag, open the loft and uh, going to whistle for two or three times maybe. Normally that will, will be enough. Uh, at this moment they're still in the air, uh, approximately 80 youngsters flying. Uh, they're coming closer now, their, their rounds are going, getting smaller, so it's time to get them in. So I'm going to do that now. As you can see the entrance to the loft is quite small and uh, 80 birds coming into the loft is something that will not be uh, done in a few seconds. So uh, also the, the entrance is, is blocked with other youngsters now so you can see them coming down and uh, most of them still turning around small just waiting for, the, uh, for a room on the entrance. Back in the days when I was a young bird specialist, I didn't have this. Uh, I had uh, two entrances and the entrances were four holes wide. So these entrances are only one hole, uh, two holes wide. So um, it's a big difference. But of course, uh, the, the, the priority, uh, youngsters are not a priority uh, at the uh, marathon racing. So. So guys, I hope you uh, you enjoyed the shooting earlier today uh, with the youngsters coming in uh, from their training. Uh, eventually they trained uh, 75 minutes and they came in quite alright, don't you think? Uh, of course, uh, always one or two youngsters will, will delay, but uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way the youngsters are doing at the moment. 
Uh, at this moment it's uh, about quarter past nine in the evening. Uh, it's getting dark and the old birds are outside training now. Uh, I've started twilight training this uh, week because I quit uh, darkening past week. I told you in the previous video log. Uh, which means they uh, will go outside at a quarter past eight and uh, I hopefully I can manage to let them train in 90 minutes. That's the plan at least. Uh, earlier this week they, they wouldn't do that because they had a, had a tough race past weekend with a, with a headwind. And, uh, but now it's uh, about the last day before uh, basketing again. They will pro probably do the full 90 minutes. The hens uh, that are still uh, separated, uh, the widow hens, the, these are the yearlings. They will be paired after this weekend. Uh, they did uh, 90 minutes easily. The hens are in, in incredible shape at the, at the moment. They fly uh, like there's no tomorrow, They're really racing through the skies. Uh, and 90 minutes, no problem at all. I, I put away the flags after 90 minutes and still they kept on going. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, and hopefully the, the cocks and the hens that are now in nesting positions will do the same. Uh, currently the first eggs are laid for the St. Vincent team. Uh, which is uh, perfect actually because I like to race on youngsters from uh, six to eight days like I uh, told you in previous video logs and so uh, the ideal day of laying eggs was uh, past Wednesday the first egg and uh, four out of the five pairs did so and one pair laid the, laid the first egg uh, on, fir on Tuesday so uh, what more can I wish? Uh, the eggs that were laid on Tuesday, the one egg I put inside uh, and I will turn it twice a day. Uh, so all youngsters will hatch uh, at the same time. Uh, at the moment uh, we are racing and uh, the, 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 all the eggs are in the incubator. Uh, I've replaced them with fake eggs uh, so I will not have to uh, get the eggs out every, every time the birds train or every time I uh, will basket them for a race. I just leave the fake eggs in the nest and the real eggs are in the incubator. And as soon as uh, these eggs are hatching, I will put them back on the, the real pairs. Uh, it's no problem. Uh, I've got a 98%, approximately 98% success rate with eggs in the incubator. So as long as the temperature is right, uh, I just have to put in water every every day fresh water every day uh, for the humidity and the incubator does all the rest it turns the eggs uh, it keeps the temperature on the on the same level so i'm very happy with with that and i would not know what i have to do without the feed uh, at the moment is uh, 100 percent copman all in one mixture i uh, told you in one of the previous video logs that uh, as soon as the races uh, will go up uh, to above 300 kilometers I will change uh, the mixture to 100 uh, percent they will get that as much as they want as much as they can eat uh, but because of this uh, this huge amount of feed that I'm giving them they have to train if they do not train please do not give them a full feed coat mal all amongst uh, one mixture because you will destroy them they will fatten and fatten and uh, of course fat birds cannot win so uh, a lot of training a lot of feeding and you will be all right i also got a question of how i feed the birds uh, during uh, the, the week uh, before entering for a race. Of course, it's the, the Copeman all in one mixture, 100%. Uh, so, no barley, no uh, deep pure mixture. But uh, this last six meals, I add uh, a super energy mixture. It's also from Bayer's. It's, it's, it's this one that, that I use. Um, it's, it's called Premium Super Energy. And uh, the, the first day, so it's three days that they get, twice a day, so six meals in total. The first day they will get it uh, added 25% and the second and third day I will add 50% to the mixture of, of this uh, food. Uh, and all of course, all, all they can eat. So uh, these, they really like this, so they will eat this as much as they can. And uh, for the rest, whenever they are hungry, they can eat from the normal mixture. Uh, also, one thing that I do, I do this on a Sunday or on Monday, I would give them a mixture of uh, peanuts, cheese, 
and uh, sheep fat, um, uh, approximately 70% peanuts, 20% cheese and 10% sheep fat that I will, uh, will give it. Uh, not the fluid sheep fat, but the original uh, sheep fat, so it's deep frozen. Uh, you can buy it in the a, in a, in a, in a store for, for animals, for pets. Uh, and I use this uh, once a week. And uh, I used to do this uh, the day of basketing, uh, but because uh, they really love it, they just get dig in it and they get uh, all kinds of fat spots, uh, oily spots on their head. And uh, I got a lot of strange faces when I entered the birds uh, the first time when I did that. So uh, that's why I chose to do it uh, one day before the day of basketing, so uh, the birds look normal, but no, uh, of course, no problem, but uh, I just don't want to, do, to see the strange faces and to have to explain every time over and over again what I give to the birds, so uh, that's why I, I chose to do that. At uh, this moment, uh, the birds are uh, training one hour and 50 minutes. Um, they're still going strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put feed in the loft and, um, and we'll make the loft ready for the birds to enter. I hope you enjoyed this video log and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Goodbye and good luck.